Hey guys, it's Nick, and kind of bad news, but something could have been expected with this today. Henry Yokiharu has been sent down to the Rockford Ice Hogs. This morning, he was sent down to the Ice Hogs um, today because he's played 35 games this year and only has 12 points, and all of those are assists with the Blackhawks. Frickin' Colleton. Ever since Colleton came in as head coach, Yoki Haru hasn't been producing as well points-wise. When Coach Q was head coach, uh, Yoki was playing great. And I feel like Colleton has not used Yoki Haru to his full potential. Yoki Haru being a young defenseman who needs to still learn, yes. But when he was with the deep pairing of Duncan Keith, he was playing great because he was learning from a legendary defenseman in Duncan Keith. Yoki Haru being stuck with um rotating D pairing that doesn't help a young defenseman develop his game if you're with like where he was with Duncan Keith at the start of the year with Joel Quinville as the head coach um the Hawks blue line with Yoki Haru and Duncan Keith D pairing that D pairing was working out now we have to send Yoki down to Rockford for his first time down in Rockford all year. Um, I saw something coming where he may be sent down for a um quick development, um re um gain a confidence. But when he went to the World Juniors, he played great. He was a great shutdown defenseman that also was a great um, asset to the Team Finland defense. He wore the A uh, for Finland, so he had the leadership quality. Now Yoki Haru is in Rockford. So, um, maybe they're looking at it. If he produces some goals, he can be called back up. But I don't know how long this um, stint's going to be for Yoki to be in Rockford for. But he is young. He's still developing his game. So maybe down in Rockford, it's a good thing for Yoki Haru. They have a chance in being a... They have a good team down in Rockford this year and right now the Hawks being dead last in the Central Division battling for dead last in the NHL um there's a possible chance that this was a move for them for a um smart decision to keep, give them confidence on a better team maybe make a playoff push with the Rockford Ice Hogs because the Blackhawks are not making the playoffs this year, that's for sure. Going into this year, we all knew the Hawks weren't going to be a playoff team. I said they had a chance because um Corey Crawford would come back healthy. He did come back and they did play solid at the start of the season, but after they fired Joel Quinville, everything went downhill, and Corey Crawford got injured again. But, with Yoki Haru being sent down to the Rockford Ice Hogs, I feel like this can help him gain confidence, scoring goals, playing his true offensive potential as a, true, as a good um, two-way defenseman. This could be a good stint for him. I will like... I hope him um, the best down in Rockford because he is my favorite player currently on the Chicago Blackhawks. Now he's in Rockford. And so 
he's still with him learning and developing his game, it's an okay decision to send him down. I don't know what number he will be wearing with Rockford. I don't think he um, will be wearing the same number with the Hawks that he did where where he wore number 28 he may wear probably if the number 16's available down in Rockford I think he will probably be wearing that because that's his number he wore in the um Portland Winterhawks but now he's going to Rockford so we'll see what happens hopefully his development gets better and his defense improves because after the World Juniors it has scuffled and maybe he could find that confidence and self-esteem to build upon becoming a great defenseman for the future of the Chicago Blackhawks. So leave your comment down below what your thoughts are for sending Yoki Haru down to the Rockford Ice Hogs and Thank you for watching the broadcast, and please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But most of all, let's go Hawks and let's go Hogs.